Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Tee It Up Grand Strand. I'm your host, Shan Coughlin, here with two very special guests from Colonial Charters Golf Club, Mr. Chris Jones, Hi. their head golf professional, and Miss Debbie Metzger, the food and beverage manager. She's winking at me because I had to practice that name. I didn't want to say the K. I don't know why. <laughs> Did many people do that? Metzger. Metzger. They call me. Yeah. Or well, Metzinger or crazy metzinger yes i don't know why they get that but they do they do well i tell you with shan coughlin i get shane coughlin (laughs) shannon you know you would think with the football coach and everybody else being coughlin they would get it but coughlin is big well with the famous frank coughlin you would think nobody would I know. That, no, would be, that would be St. Frank. Yeah. <laughs> they call him St. Frank for putting up with me. I don't think that's right. But, uh, yeah, I normally go, go by Frank's wife. I think my first name is Frank's yeah, and my I'm, last name is wife. But. No, how do you feel about that? Tom, Tom's son. <laughs> Tom's son. You did. Yeah. Yes. Tom's son. So you guys will have to go back into the uh, archives and hear, about the, hear the story about how uh, Chris's father hired me for my first job here at the beach (laughs) it is a small town yeah he did did. i didn't know that he did so you just never know who you're going to run into around Mm -hmm. here but let's talk a little bit about colonial charters and what's going on out at the golf course i did look at the weather forecast next Mm -hmm. week will be mid 70s and i'm noticing a lot of bostonians calling in that's right (laughs) oh we can't we can't wait we can't wait. And it's not like there hadn't been the conditions are so bad that you can't play. Mm-mm. And a lot of people, if they can brave the cold and come out there and play, it's still still good, still nice to play. It is yeah. very nice to play. And Colonial Charters is especially uh, local friendly. Mm-hmm. And if you're in town for either a day or a week, they consider you a local. So That's right. uh, come on over. And Miss Debbie is here today because I wanted to meet the person who was responsible for all these super cool ideas. She's awesome. Thirsty Thursday, Thank Wing you, Wednesday, and, and some other fun stuff. What, uh, what inspires you to come up with these ideas? Basically, um, when I took the position over, um, I wanted to make it uh, a fun place. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of fun. On Friday nights, we play bingo. Um, they have a great time doing that. Um, I didn't want it to just be a snack bar. Right. Basically. And I tried to do a dinner once a month. Right. And then normally on Friday nights, I'll do a special of some sort. Like last week, or week before last, we had um, the weather kept us for not having it last week. Right. We had meatloaf, mashed potatoes, green beans, and a dinner roll. Yum. Yum. Good yum. old Southern yep, cooking. Southern cooking. That's what I try to do. And we need that because people need to be introduced to more of that. And those of us who love it need to have a place to go get it. Right. And we, we're we really a breakfast and lunch. Mm-hmm. However, we serve um, our sandwiches. Our signature sandwich is the, the club. Mm-hmm. Or um, second probably in line would be the grilled chicken wrap. All right, now what? I have had the grilled chicken wrap, so tell. I have not had the club sandwich. So what makes that your signature? Do you do something a little special to it? Oh, I'm hitting my mic. It's made on sourdough bread. Mm, Okay, and um, we make it with or without the center bread. Okay, and you have a choice of potato salad, onion rings, or French fries, or homemade potato chips. Y'all do homemade potato chips. Yes, they're my fave. We do lots of salt. Well, actually, um, little salt. We we try not to do the salt because we do cater okay. to the seniors. Um, so we watch the salt. <laughs> All right. Hey. hey, Jeff Pinelli's in the house. Oh. All right. So when um, when Chris first started coming in and, and doing these interviews with us, he had um, we were really promoting um, you know the specials, and he kept talking about you, and I was like, man, I got to meet her. So uh, you did something that was a throwback for me to my old college days when you did dollar taps. Was that yep. Thirsty Thursday? Thirsty Thursday. Are We've y'all now, still doing that? We are. We've increased that to dollar twenty-five. Okay. Well, inflation, you know. Right. I was in college a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> we won't talk about that. We can't. You know, I don't mind. It's still my birthday month. Well, I'm We're starting still to feel older, too. I just oh. <laughs> had my birthday recently, so let's not talk about it. Are you February it. birthday, too? I am. Which day? The 23rd. 20, oh, just recently. Yeah. Happy birthday. Well, thank you. Okay, so great people were born in February. That's I all so. I have to say. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> Easy. We don't want his head, his head to swell too much, right? It's already there. It's already there. I'm a Sagittarius. There you go. So I'm out there. Oh, very, you know, it's one of our compatible signs. That's true. So Maybe you never know what you're going to do. That's together. why we get along great. There you, go. you never know what we're going to talk about awesome. on the show. You know, what's your sign? <laughs> Maybe that should be the way <laughs> we introduce Colonial Charters from now on. What's your sign? Could be. 
No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. But right now, um, what are some of the specials that are going on? Tell us about that for for the in the in the snack bar. Basically, area. Well, today obviously is Thursday, so we've got we have Thirsty Thursday. Okay, and that's a dollar twenty five draft. And um, Friday tomorrow night tomorrow bingo. night will be bingo. Okay, and I believe we're going to do chicken fajitas as a special. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's we try to do something off the menu. Right. Just to make it a little totally off the menu. Extra. Don't even, right. It's something extra. All right, Chris, let's talk a little bit about the golf course okay. and where it's located. And I, we warn people all the time, and not warn them in a bad way, but just remind them that even though the address may not say Myrtle Beach or North Myrtle Beach, it's still, what, y'all are 10 minutes away it's from here? Not it's even, not even 10 not minutes. Even. It says, I think, Longs That's is right. the physical address. Right, but right it's off just the right. exit of 31. And right there. I mean, we're the first golf course as you come off of 31. It's not like you have to go all the way down the road to get to us. Perfect. So. Nice location great and location. golf course is in great shape. It is. Those Bermuda greens are doing great. I'm they sure. Are. They are. That they're going to flourish when the sun comes out, without a doubt. And yes. They, but you know they're they're rolling smooth right now. So that's what counts, right? It I is. tell people I don't care what color it is as long as it rolls right. That's right. <laughs> and the only people that complain about the greens are the ones that lose money, right? Yeah, the, one, the ones that <laughs> exactly shoot best right. Yes. <laughs> it's the golf course's fault when you shoot 100 that day. I love that though. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad y'all will take that responsibility for me. Oh, definitely. That that's Definitely. what counts. That's the only thing that counts. And uh, Colonial Chargers is one of those courses that you could go out and shoot your absolute best score, mm -hmm. or you could really have a, a challenging day of it if you're not hitting it exactly right. You can. I mean, that's one of the appeals of Colonial Charters. Mm -hmm. Though you just yeah, from day to day, you don't know what you're going to get out there. I mean, don't I, I always tell people don't go out with a plan. Right. You know, <laughs> go out there just to have fun. You know, and it's very junior, senior, and female friendly. Absolutely. And, and we're I, trying to, to really encourage that as well. We need to bring fun back to golf. I mean, there's obviously outlets for serious and competitive golfers. Um, you guys are a great facility for tournaments and um, uh, charity events and corporate events, um, especially now with your, your horseshoe bar. I know it's not as new anymore as it was when we first started talking, Chris, but I love it out there. Mm. Yeah, it's really nice. It makes for a very um, easy place to sit down after your round, and the patio is beautiful. Yes, it is. So you'll be like, is that open in the winter months or? Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I, w I just wasn't sure how that worked. We have a lot of fun. It sounds like it. It sounds like it. All right. So moving into spring golf season, and that's what everyone's calling about mm -hmm. now. And when I mean spring, I mean like in the next few weeks. Um, everyone's calling to get their rounds in. We would be remiss if we didn't remind everyone that Colonial Charters was on the um, Platinum Golf membership. That's correct. As well, you can get that in for 2015, and it includes a $100 gift card that you can use on golf, which I was shocked at. You can actually use it to right. golf, it for golf and anything. on a lot of uh, Miss Debbie's specials. Absolutely. Man, admit, that's a lot of dollar twenty five drafts. Yeah. That hundred dollar gift card. Trust me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you can find that at platinumcardsite.com and platinummembership.com. I believe the platinumgolfmembership.com. dot com. Right. I always forget the golf part. Platinumgolfmembership.com. dot com. But then you guys also run some specials for locals we, and we memberships. Do. We do. I mean, we have our own membership at Colonial mm -hmm. Charters, and actually I'm, I'm in the works, and I'm going to try to work out some different local specials and try, try to tie in, you know, also women and junior golfers. Right. And, and, the scene. and that's where I, I'd love to become the local golf course. There we, you we, go. We'd love it, you know, because we, are, we do have an, a place where we can provide good food, good right. fun, and good golf. What more can you ask for? And just uh, to throw this out, because I know a lot of people have been asking us about the Chinese investment in the area. Mm -hmm. um, Colonial Charters is part of that group now, the Founders International Fa yeah, Group. Founders Group International. Founders Group International. <laughs> yep. and, um, but, but all good. I mean, nothing really has changed except good stuff. We, we're making we're starting to do our minor repairs now actually you know so, nice. we're, so you could actually see the course growing as they've come in and so i can't say anything but positive things about what's happening and what's going on well I, the beach. I know we got a lot of questions down at the pga show and i just wanted to, to let everyone know that is looking at um cloning charters as well as some of the other courses involved with the founders group international mm -hmm. that um they're just moving forward and nothing but improvements nothing, and it, nothing but improvements we're very excited about having them here right. so that's all they're actually that's all they're talking about is, is improving the golf courses all right and i can't wait to see it all right everyone chris debbie 
Thank you so much. We're out of time. It goes fast. I told you. <laughs> Debbie was a little nervous, everyone, but she did bit. great. She did great. Okay. <laughs> Thank you all very much. Please come back again. Let us know what new specials you're going to make, okay? We sure will. I'm Thank gonna you. Bring, I'm going to bring her every day. Every day she's coming back. Awesome. <laughs> Don't let him see you sweat. <laughs> 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 well, thank y'all for coming, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. This edition of Tee It Up Grand Strand has been produced and broadcast by the Zeus Radio Network for thegolfdirector.com. When visiting the Golf Director, be sure to check out our feature golf course pages, including Colonial Charters, where you'll find up-to-date information about their course conditions, specials, and much more. If you need help with your next golf vacation and you like to tweet, hashtag just call Dave. Hashtag please call Dave. Hashtag we want you to call Dave. No, I'm kidding. It's really just call Dave. <laughs> Give us a call at 844-GO-GOLF-1. That's 844-GO-GOLF-1, 844-464-6531. All of our TGD programming is archived for listening on demand and viewing on demand. So to catch up on a show you might have missed, click on the TGD radio and TGD TV tabs in the menu at thegolfdirector.com. We're now available on over 1 billion devices at iTunes, Audio Realm, YouTube, TuneIn, Ustream, Roku, Blueberry, and the Myrtle Beach Golf app. This is Shan Coughlin, and on behalf of our guests today, Mr. Chris and Miss Debbie, our producers behind the glass, Mr. Jeff, we appreciate you and thank you for tuning in. There's more TGD golf news and information coming up next, so don't go anywhere. <laughs>